steps. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutane Srimati Bhakti Devananda Swami Iti Namine Nama
नारायण गो स्वामी महाराज की इसी भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी प्रभुपाद की भक्ति प्रज्ञान केशव गो स्वामी महाराज की श्री रूप नुग गुरु वर्ग की समवीर भक्त वृंद की गौर प्रणानंदी ओम ज्ञान तिमिरंदसिया ज्ञानंजन शलाकय चक्षुरुन्मिलित तस्म श्री गुरव नम वंशाकल्पतरूभ्य कृपा सिंधु पतिताभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार शिव सादि गौर भक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम ऑफरिंग माय अनलिमिटेड दंडवत प्रणाम्स एंड माय श्रद्धा पुष्पांजलि टू द लोटस फीट of my beloved diksha guru initiating spiritual master his divine grace nitilila pravishta om vishnu pad shila ac bhakti vedanta swami prabhu pad and secondly i am offering my equal dandavat pranams and by shraddha pushpanjali the faith offerings flower like flowers offerings from my heart to the lotus feet of my beloved siksha guru instructing spiritual master his divine grace Shila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj who we have the great fortune of being in the divine presence of this evening here and also my other siksha guru his divine grace Shila Bhakti Rakshak Shri Har Goswami Maharaj my dandavat pranams at his lotus feet and my respectful obeisances and uh heartfelt greetings to all the vaishnavas vaishnavis friends guests and noble souls who have come here this evening it is a a very great fortune that we have all come here this evening by the invitation of shri maishwar prabhu who's offered the opportunity to have this amazing event which is hard to calculate the good fortune to be here uh, on this evening in the presence of such a divine personality as our beloved gurudev um our spiritual master shila ac bhakti vedanta swami prabhu pad many of you are familiar with him and with the movement that he started in the western world some 45 years ago and he came across the oceans uh carrying a very important message in fact in retrospect the most important message for all of humanity he came to give the knowledge of the divine process of attaining pure love for the supreme absolute personality of god had shri krishna and he brought the vedic literatures and the not only the vedic literatures but the very essence of all the vedic knowledge in the form of the shrimad bhagavatam those of you who are a little bit familiar with vedic knowledge you'll understand that there are it is very vast there are many uh literatures there are the four original vedas rigveda samaveda yajurveda atharva veda and they themselves require an entire lifetime of study then there is also the upanishads which were uh giving the philosophical precepts of all vedic knowledge very deep conceptions of studying the existence of the absolute and our relationship with the absolute and then the teachings began to be synthesized more and more in the form of the puranas 18 puranas then the mahabharata 
was also written to give access to people of this modern age because the deep teachings of the Vedas are hard to penetrate. So the Mahabharata was written by Srila Vyasadeva and all of these Vedic literatures were written by him. He is an empowered incarnation of God who has uh, given the Vedic knowledge to the world. But at that time he was not fully satisfied even though he had written all these Vedic literatures. So he was a little bit perplexed and trying to understand what was the cause of his dissatisfaction. So at that time his spiritual master, his own guru, namely Sri Devarshi Narada Rishi, he came there and he detected that Vyasadev had given <clears throat> so much knowledge, but the very essence, the most uh, important information of the Vedas, he had somehow overlooked. So Narada Rishi explained to Vyasadeva that you have not actually pinpointed, you have not given direct information of how the Absolute Supreme Being, Sri Krishna, descended into this world 5,000 years ago and how he reciprocated, how he demonstrated his divine loving pastimes, his leelas, which were so sweet, how he played with his friends as a cowherd boy in the forests of Vrindavan in a very intimate and sweet way, how his mother used to take care of him like a mother of this world takes care of her child and even sometimes scolds her child in the same way, his mother, Sri Krishna's mother Yashoda, she also would sometimes uh, chastise him, even though he's the absolute supreme being. In this way, uh, Sri Vyasadeva was informed by...